If I were to describe my father's work, I would say it's organic, it's roots, it's the hills, it's uh, nature, and it's also spiritual too. It's poetic, it's loneliness, it's happiness. It's kind of the whole gamut of, of living a good life, a happy life. It has nothing to do with inspiration. If you wait for the divine inspiration, it's going to be once a week probably. If you can get that. No, you have to psych yourself, you have to dare yourself, you have to do things that see a normal person will draw to the right, then you draw to the left. I graduated from McKinley High School in 1945 with no idea what I'm going to do with my life. So after graduating, I had all this menial job, dishwasher, working in dark room, and uh, then finally I ended up at Derriman's, which is uh, medical today. That's when I saw the light. The light means that is this is what I'm going to do with my rest of my life. So I decided to be an artist. That's when I decided to go to New York. I go meet for the first time Pumpe Akaji, who came back from Italy, Tadashi Saro, Bob Uchikubo, he came back from uh, Chicago Art Institute, and Jerry Okimuru. We're going to form a nice um, friendship for 50 plus years. All seven of the Chateau of Metcalf guys were all supportive of each other. They were happy when one of them sold a piece. They had no envy of each other. It, it was just really hard times, but nonetheless, these guys were cranking out art and, and, and believing it and really making a movement with themselves. Opening night, just going into somebody and you came out and said, oh, your two pieces sold, you know. And that's the greatest feeling for the artist going to see a show and he saw before you know. What I admire, admire in Satoru Abe's work is his uh, simplicity. Aloha Stadium, uh, Dad did the piece I believe about 25 years ago. It was constructed in Makaha and he did it lying down. When you walk into it, you know, you walk through it, it's more of an experience than a sculpture too, you know. First to Wine Bank, I think everybody sees that because that's at the crossroads of Bishop and uh, South King Street. Well, I like all the detail in his art, especially like the metal work, how he uses the different acids to kind of give it the different tones as it has some green and then he grinds it away so you can see the copper, but then you can see also like the tarnished version too, and the, all in the same piece. And there are pieces that are in uh, homes that are that people don't get to see but that are quite beautiful. I can't really fall in love with any one of them because I love all of them. My father continues to make art and it never stops. He, he gets up in the morning, has his breakfast, and then he does his art and he eats lunch and then he goes back and does it again. Oh, he's 84 years old. He just made 84 uh, last week. There's not such, such thing as retirement, okay? It's inspiring yet, you know, for, for someone like myself who does art also, it's almost depressing because I can't keep up with it, you know? My son Donovan has been helping uh, my father with his laser engravings. My son adores his grandfather and uh, it's good for them to bond. Like I get to see the whole process. I guess I like the completion. So I get to see it from the drawing stage all the way to after he finishes painting it. I like it. It's interesting, yeah. What Satoru Abe has done for the younger artist here is that he's laid out a foundation where there are galleries and uh, art scene here in Hawaii. He's still buying art from the younger artists. He's sort of, to me, like a, a godfather. A lot of people go to Satoru for advice, and he's you know, really generous. He is a humble, gentle person that cares. You know, people ask me why I'm so humble, okay? To me, the day I decide to be an artist, that's my ego or myself. After that all happened because of someone else, you know. If looking back, all you have to be is young and hungry with a dream. You don't need talent. 
you know, talent you acquire, right? Repetition could create skill, right? I'm always discovering new things, even now. <laughs>